earlier last year, I was sitting in class. We had no teacher. There was maybe 10 of us in the classroom. I was just doing my thing, I was minding my own business until a guy in my class asks this other kid who is known as like the quiet kid if he had lost his V-card. And completely understandable, he says it's private information, I'm not gonna tell you that. Cool. So this guy asks the girls in my class if they had lost their V-card. And most of them say the same thing, some of them say yes, some of them say no. And then he kind of asks us, or the, he, him and the girls kind of ask us, like our, our friend group, right? Most of my friends say no, but they say it in a confident way, which ups my confidence, but then the turn comes to me to give if I've lost it. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't lost it, I'm still a virgin at this point. So I say no. But I say it in such an awkward and nervous way that everybody can just tell that I'm so scared to admit it. Now all the attention is on me. The whole conversation is on me. My face blows up red. And I try making the excuse that I'm just focusing on myself. The girls will come. But it's just the way I said it that reflects insecurity. And all I was hoping was that the conversation was going to change. I put my head down. I started doing uh, some... I just started writing shit on the piece of paper even though we had no work to do. I started making the excuse that I had to do homework. That's why I wasn't talking. But we had no homework in Year 11. So, there we go. I was busted. The conversation changes about, I don't know, two minutes later. And I remember going home that night just asking myself the question, how can I get closer to either the girls at my school or just girls in general, honestly, for the main intention of losing my V-card so I don't have to say it in such a nervous way anymore because in my eyes, a man's value was, his, was if he lost his V-card, if he was good with the girls, if he could get them in the bed. So I asked myself that question and I can't answer it. I can't, I can't answer it. I can't balance both. I'm either going to be me or I'm going to be fake. I'm not going to be me. Because my true authentic self doesn't go around and fuck around. You know? I can't balance both. I can't be two people. That's just me though. Maybe some other people can. So months go by, time goes on, party culture is getting a bit bigger now because everyone's turning 18. So the prevalence of losing people's V-card is so much more common now. So this was around six months ago. I was sitting in class again and we had no teacher again and the conversation was about virginity again. And a lot of people had lost it now so people were more confident in admitting that they had lost it. I didn't talk. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a big conversation. It went for like two minutes. But I was just sitting there so anxious, so nervous, wondering if someone was going to ask me that question. And usually I'm confident in myself, but I, sometimes I get in that anxious mindset where the anxiety just takes over. You know? So I went home, so I went home again and I ask myself, what do I do? Because I'm 18, I can just do whatever I want now. Do I just go and lose it? It's just so I have the confidence to say yes. Do I? But I couldn't, I could never get myself to do it. Never, because I knew it wasn't right. But I still felt extremely isolated and extremely lonely, even though I knew it wasn't right. Oh, my camera's overheating. But even though I knew this, the urge was to do it was still so strong. So I'm talking to a girl on Instagram maybe four months ago, and apparently she's maybe, you know, an hour, an hour away from me. And I can t kind of tell she's talking to me to get attention for my clout. I don't, I don't really have clout, but you can kind of tell she just wants attention. She doesn't care about me. She just wants the attention I have, right, the reach I have. I know this, I can tell, but I still keep talking to her because of lust. And yes, she was over 18, before you ask. It wasn't because I necessarily wanted a girlfriend, it wasn't because lust had overtaken me. It was just because I wanted to get rid of the V-card. It's been a thing in my mind since I was 14, 15 years old where some of my friends lost it and they automatically got respect. And I think that just that stature has stuck to my mind. And I still, at this point around four or five months ago, I still believed that's 
what a man's value was based off. But two weeks, I have two weeks after high school left until I graduate, and two exams. And I just look back on everything, I'm just like, why the fuck were you worrying so much, bro? Like, honestly, why was I worrying so much about it? I've realized now that nothing in high school actually mattered. Nothing. Nothing. And the only reason I wanted it was to admit to people that I had lost it to get respect at school. That was it. I didn't care about anything else. I didn't care about doing it for myself. Nothing. And now that I don't care about that, I'm fine with being a virgin. And I've always, I've always said that I'm fine with it. But at the back of my mind, sometimes I don't believe it, but now I genuinely do. And even just after two weeks of having this free mindset, I'm not completely free, of course. I don't think anyone is completely free of desire. But I've actually been more confident with women. I've been, been, been more confident, you know, just at school in general, simply because I have no desire to do it. I talk to women to talk to women, not any other reason. That's usually been the case, but sometimes lust, it's not really lust, it's mostly ego gets ahead of me. But now that's not, that's not a thing anymore. You know, I always used to think that when I lost my V card, I would have automatically been good with the girls. I would have, I would have had no desire to do it. So I would have had all the confidence in the world to go up and approach women, to talk with them and have a conversation with them. And I guess that was kind of true because once I've let go of the desire, I have been much more confident. I just realized that that was holding me back so much. So much. Having this desire at the back of my mind, now I just talk to girls to talk to girls. Now I just talk to people to talk to people because it's fun. It's fun connecting with people. And it's a whole lot better. Just literally just two weeks of having just the mindset. Like two weeks ago, there's four weeks after school, bro. Just have fun, just do you, none of this shit matters. I am actually confident in saying that I'm only giving my purest of attention to a woman that deserves it, a woman that chooses me. And that is not out of ego, that is simply out of self-respect. And due to this level of self-respect, assuming you're actually social, right? You're not using this as an excuse to not talk with women and sit in your room all day and do all this and you know never communicate. Assuming that's off the charts, I genuinely believe virginity will be extremely valuable in the future. Extremely valuable. For men and for women. It's just my prediction. I, I'm probably wrong. But I genuinely believe, and I tell this, I tell this to myself quite a bit, in the future, five, ten years from now, a lot of us will mature. A lot of us. We're 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A lot of us will mature and we will realize that the quality of one person's attention is so much more valuable than a lot of people's attention. Quality over quantity. And I think the people who, again, talk to people, they don't sit in their room all day and do nothing, you know, but they only give their attention, their purest of attention to the people who genuinely deserve it. We'll be happy. Doesn't mean you can't be happy if you don't do that. And it makes somebody feel special around you as well. Knowing you don't fuck around with everyone. You know? No, it's really common sense. It's really traditional conservative values. It is. But I think our generation could benefit a lot from this. Just this quick little mindset shift. And I'm only making this video for anybody who was in my position, especially in high school and it's to roam that, that idea of losing your v-card and fitting in and all this is just roaming around in your mind 24 7 it just doesn't go away after high school finishes very none of it matters you know at least i knew what is right for me and you probably do as well and my best advice to my younger self would be to stick by that which i did a pretty good job of maybe this was just a yep i had no script for this but hopefully it helps someone out there hopefully much love, brother. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.